Our founding fathers, in addition to wanting a very limited central government, and that's why we have Article 1, Section 8, the enumerated powers, they wanted that as a structural system of government. I don't know that they understood or appreciated how that was a very good idea because it meant innovation, diversity, and competition among the states. Uh, and, and we're experiencing that right now. You know, California has extraordinary tax rates. Uh, right next door, Nevada has no tax uh, income tax, and Arizona now has a low 2.5 percent flat tax. Uh, so, so, and the same thing, of course, is all across the country. Uh, you have uh, New Hampshire with no state income tax, and you have other states in the Northeast with very high taxes. You have all this migration of jobs and businesses and people uh, to places like. Texas and Florida with their no state income tax, but it's not just income taxes. Some states now have school choice uh, and other states, of course, the, the government uh, teacher unions uh, basically control the system and you wind up with a, an inferior educational product. Uh, you have different states that do uh, uh, have more uh, uh, you know, pro-market licensing laws where the government, you don't have to get necessarily nearly as much permission from the government to open a run of business. Uh, so, so I'm a huge fan of decentralization of federalism. I greatly admire Switzerland because that's a, a country where their decentralized system of federalism has by and large been well protected and maintained, whereas over time, again, you know, starting back in the 1930s, really, under the, the, the very bad Supreme Court we got under FDR, we've lost a lot of our federalism. Switzerland still has that federalism. It's an incredibly successful country, especially compared to the welfare states that surround it, that are that are suffering. Uh, so what I would advise people in the United States, you know, Switzerland is sometimes called the sister republic because their constitution was based on ours. Uh, they've just done a better job of preserving it. And, <laughs> and if, if we want a better, more prosperous uh, yeah. economy with more innovation, we really need to try to get back to the decentralization, limited central government that our founding fathers uh, envisioned. And we can look at Switzerland as a modern day role model for how to make that happen.